Imam Mohammed Bakir was asked, What do you say about one who goes to the ziyarat of your grandfather, Imam Hussein, during tense times? Imam Bakir replied, On the day of great terror, judgment day, Allah will keep him safe and the angels will welcome him. They will give glad tidings saying, Don't be afraid or saddened. This is the day of your success. Yazid, the tyrant and oppressive ruler of his age, needed the allegiance of Imam Hussein to legitimize himself as the leader of the Islamic Empire. Hussein refused, and this is the reason why he is known as the one who said no. Having seen the injustices against the religion of his grandfather, Imam Hussein rose up to save Islam. He set upon traveling with his family and 72 companions to Kufa, where he was offered support only to be betrayed and abandoned. Before Hussein even reached Kufa, he was cornered in a desert land called Karbala. The Imam and his family were surrounded by enemy forces an army consisting of 30,000 sent by Yazid with the intention of bringing back the head of Imam Hussein. And subhanAllah of all the Shia in the world today, you are the chosen ones who have come here when everybody else is back home. I cannot believe that in the whole Shia world we are the only people here. And that's why our heart goes to that lady in Sham. Because in her haram today, there's no one. There's a group of people who've sacrificed their lives to go there now to defend her. Um, I'm answering to the call of Halmin Nasiri on Suruna. And I'll do this every day of my life if I could. And yet we are the ones who have come from the West and we have that passion to come in the most dangerous time to visit the Imam. And that's why our sixth Imam in his dua for the Zawar of Imam Hussein, he says, Oh Allah, have mercy on the Zawar of Abba Abdullah. Now this is for Imam Hussein. Those who have hurt themselves and sacrificed their wealth out of love for us. Make it Hussein! Make it Hussein!